So what are isograph pens? Now an isograph pen is a specialized instrument that are used by architects, people who do drafting and engineering. It always makes a consistent line, so you never have to worry about your lines being you know, improper or imperfect. And I'll give you an example of that right now, and I'll explain how these pens work. Now with these before you use them, you do have to shake them up a little bit so that you can get the ink flowing. And the way that this works is that there's a small wire on the inside of this, and that small wire runs through the pen, and on the inside of this, this is where the ink is. The one I have here is refillable. The rapidographs come with cartridges, and I always prefer these ones over the uh, rapidographs because these can always be refilled, and it saves you a lot of money in the long run. These do come in different sizes, such as the 0.35, the 0.25, the 0.18. The ones I prefer the most are the 0.35, and that's because when it goes smaller than the 0.25, the lines are very tiny. It takes a long time to draw. And another problem I run into is the paper because you have to have a really smooth paper so it doesn't catch on the surface. Whereas with the 0.35 and the 0.25, I don't have that issue. So before you start drawing with these, I always shake them up some. And that prevents the ink from getting um, clogged at the end of it. Although sometimes you might have to run it underwater to get it to flow. But that's usually only if you haven't drawn with them for a long time. But I'll give you an example of how the line works and what it looks like. To draw with the isograph, it's best to hold it vertically. And this will give you a line that's more consistent. And you don't have to worry about damaging the nib. Because once you damage the nib, the pen's no good anymore. So I'll hold it vertically and I'll show you what the line looks like. The straightness of a line completely depends on how good you can hold the pen and your ability to draw a line because it's all up to you. Because it's always going to make a line that is consistent with your hand movement. So if I try to make a straighter line, as you can see there, it's going to be a lot different than your standard pen, such as a ballpoint, a gel pen or any other technical pen that you have. And one thing I do like about this is that when you're drawing, I can slowly lift the pen and get different line variations, such as not the width of it, but how the ink goes onto the paper. I can get some parts where it skips some. And I can't do that with the other pens, such as ballpoint, um, gel roller ball pens. So what are some advantages of using these over ballpoint pens and other technical pens? It's going to be a lot cheaper in the long run, although up front it's going to cost you a lot more because these pens usually run between $25 to $40. But you can get a set online for about $65, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can find that. Another advantage of these is the ink. It lasts a long time. It's a very dark ink. And the nibs on these are much finer than what you'll find in other technical pens. For example, it says 0.35, but the line width is actually going to be smaller than in other technical pens that are 0.35 or even 0.25. And that's because it always makes a, a fine line at the end, and that's completely dependent on the size of the wire that's inside the isograph. Whereas with other technical pens, the ink isn't as high of a quality. So you can't really control the ink as much. And because these are refillable, they last a lot longer, you get better ink, you get a consistent, perfect line, and you can always draw in much more detail. If you're wondering what ink you're supposed to use for these pens, I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can find that. But make sure you're not using ink that is for fountain pens, because the ink that is in these is much thicker, and the fountain ink is much thinner, and it's going to flow too quickly to the tip of this pen and then you're going to have problems with it leaking. So I advise to make sure that you're just using the isograph ink such as the Rotring and there are some other off-brand kinds but I would recommend just sticking with the name brand Rotring isograph ink. I think it works fine. You get really dark ink and there are different colors as well. I'll leave the link for that as well. So what do you like about the isograph pen? 
And do you prefer the isograph or the rapidograph? And if so, what are some examples for that reason? And do you use the Roaching brand or other brands? If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments of this video down below. If you'd like to know more about these pins, check out links in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, and have a great day.